Hello everybody, my name is Steve Marchant and this is my wood shop. Today we're going to be talking about the electric planer. Boing! Mine's an Einhell one. It's got lots of different features on it. Most planers will be the same, uh, varying accessories, uh, different, different features, things like that. But the principle is the same with almost every single planer. Um, it's a very, very easy tool to use. It makes very light work of preparing a surface on a piece of wood. Uh, you can also reduce the stock on wood, um, by, by that I just mean if, if a piece of wood is too thick you can just plane it and plane it and plane it uh, to reduce the size to a more workable piece if you don't want to just saw it down. So the way the planer works is that you have your front plate here. Uh, this is the piece of metal that the wood rides along or rides along the piece of wood. Then it comes to a very fast spinning cylinder with two blades in it. I'll show you that in more detail in a second. Uh, basically that chops through the wood and references then this piece of metal here. So as long as this front piece of metal here is flat on your piece of wood and then once the wood has passed through the blades you keep the back bit flat against it and then that will give it the proper reference uh, point for the blades. I hope that's making sense because it doesn't to me. Right, let's take a closer look at it. Okay, so here's a closer look at the electric planer. First and foremost, it's got a power cord, so you plug it in, this isn't a battery powered one. Um, there's the trigger under the handle here where you'd usually find one. Mine's unplugged at the moment, so I can press the trigger without it uh, killing me. On the top here there's a safety switch, so you, it won't allow, allow you to pull the trigger in without either of these directions being pressed first. On the front middle here, there is a dust extraction port. Again, th this can be changed to left or right on this model by simply pulling that through there and turning it around to the other way. Just makes it easier if, you, if your vacuum is on one side or the other or if you've got to flip yourself around to do a different piece of wood. So that just slots in like that. On the top here, there is the depth adjustment dial. And that'll have a little arrow on the front here and it tells you what number you're currently at. So the bigger the number, the deeper the, the plane you'll make. Um, this one goes from zero millimetres to three millimetres. Most planers will go up to two millimetres, um, a lot of others will go to three. Uh, when you're taking three millimetres off at a time, it can get pretty messy. <laughs> All planers will come with a set of tools. This one has this handy little holder here and what you'll get is a spanner and an allen key and that is to replace your planing blades on here. So when your planer gets dull, when the planer blades get dull or if, like me, you accidentally hit things like nails in pallet wood or stones, things like that, then it will chip and then you won't get a very clean route at uh, playing anymore. So use these tools to change your planer blades. Put back in there. This model has a little safety cover here. So whilst you're planing, your finger can't get under here and close to the blade. Also, another safety feature uh, is this little catch at the back. So that lays flat. So when you run your planer over the wood, the wood will push that backwards so then you can get the full length of the planer. But when you've finished, that springs back up and when you set it on the table, the blades don't touch the table and you don't end up planing the wood that it's resting on. So that's quite handy. And finally, on most planers, you will have this rebate in the front plate here. It's, uh, I'm not sure what these, if these two are common on all models, but you certainly get this one in the middle. That is for planing down corners of wood. So the corner of your piece of wood will slot into there and it will act as a guide so you can chamfer the edges over, which is quite handy. And obviously you can do that as many times as you like uh, to get a deeper and deeper chamfer. Okie dokie. Let's give it a demonstration then, shall we? Okie dokie, so as you can see, I've hooked up my dust extractor port here. Uh, I'm going to put my ear defenders on. And what we're going to do is just, first of all, 
clean up this rough piece of wood here, this rough side to make it look more like that. Um, start off with a millimetre and then I'll show you how how much it go to with three millimetres, what that looks like. Now with this one I have made sure I've removed the screws and nails in here so there shouldn't be anything that will chop up my plain blades and gouge them. <laughs> so uh, let's get to it. There we are, that's with one pass, with one millimetre plane depth, and that's actually really, really smooth, <laughs> really nice and smooth. So I'm going to set it to three millimetres, uh, which is the maximum we can do. I'll go halfway through the wood so you can see then the depth difference. So, as you can see, the plane has gone along here, that's where the blade stopped rotating, the front of the planer will be rested on this piece. Yeah, and that's what it does. Right, so let's try a chamfer cut. I'm going to put this into the vise, and, um, so I can do it diagonally like that. Uh, right, let's get set up. So, remember, we have the chamfered groove, the groove in the middle here, and we're going to rest the wood inside that groove and use that to guide it along, like so. Do it at three millimetres, so it just take as much off as it can. And there we are, a nice chamfer along the end, along the edge there. Pretty neat, eh? Righty, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is all there is to the humble electric handheld planer. I say handheld because you can get bench top planers. I do have one of those, but I hate it. Uh, it makes a hell of a lot of noise and um, it leaves a lot of burn marks. Uh, I, I just really don't like using it. Anyway, I digress. As you saw, very, very fast, very quick, very easy way to plane down a surface of wood, get it nice and smooth, straight, flat. Uh, obviously, that's a three millimetres, so it, it, three millimetres doesn't sound a lot, but if you saw the chunk that that was taking out of the top of the wood, a couple of passes with that, and you, you drastically reduce in the size of the workpiece. So, quick note on price. Mine is very much a mid-range, uh, electric planer. Uh, it was supposed to be about £65, but I got it on offer at Tool Station for about £55. You can get quite cheap ones, uh, Silverline, sell one by a Tool Station, uh, about £27. Uh, very cheap, there's not much to them, just simple plastic case, spinning blades. Uh, you obviously still get the tools with it to change the blades. Probably only a 2mm depth cut as well. Then Makita and Dewalt do one. Uh, I mean, pretty much every brand does one, but Makita and DeWalt do one for about 140 to about 225 respectively. Uh, and if you want to be really silly, <laughs> it's my all time favourite, Festool do one for, wait for it, £502. <laughs> yeah, D do they sell many of those? Yeah, I don't know. And finally, as well as the standard handheld electric planers, like I've just demonstrated, you can get rebate planers, which will take the edge of a piece of wood off to make a rebate. So instead of planing the entire surface flat, it'll have a narrow blade with an edge guide where you can take a groove out of the side rather than plane the whole surface. And then you have small compact planers, uh, which I think they call them palm planers. Uh, they fit in the palm of your hand. They're, they'll only have about that size blade on them and they're used for very small projects. If you've got a thin strip of wood and you're just trying to trim the edge off, 
probably very useful for doors as well, door frames, um, but I don't see the need for one personally, so I'm going to stick with the one I've got. And I say for £55, absolute bargain, brilliant tool. Um, like I said, Silverline, £27 for an electric planer, I think is amazing. You can't go wrong with that price, um, even if it only lasts you a couple of years. That's, what, just under 30 quid for two years worth of nice woodworking? <laughs> anyway, that's it from me today then. Thank you very much for watching my video. I uh, really do hope you liked it. If you did, give it a like, leave a comment. Please subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of videos. I do woodworking how-to videos, which shows you the basics of power tools or hand tools, how to use the tools. And I also do a woodworking, you can make this too, playlist, which shows you how to make things rather than how to use the tools to make the things. So thanks again, everybody for watching. Happy New Year to you all. Uh, and I will see you next week for another woodworking how-to. Bye-bye.